Mix 99.3 Worldwide. WNXTRadio.com 731. Uh, as we welcome you to the 3rd of April today. And uh, thank you, John. Appreciate that. Um, and it's downtown currently looking at uh, 52 degrees. We're dropping, Bill. Yes, we're going to continue Bill. to drop, Steve. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Time now, once again, for uh, news brought to you. Oh, I wanted to, well, Portsmouth Cancer Care and Associates, Dr. Nishida, Dr. Jaffrey, where the care, compassion, and roadmap to your recovery begin. And uh, good folks, just want to mention that Rick Morgan, again, our cub reporter in the morning, has said that the lights are still off west from Chillicothe Street uh, due to, um, of course, the storms of yesterday. And uh, they're kind of taking it uh, hour by hour as to when, when they're going to open. See, Rick says he's not a cub reporter. Said he's the full bear. He said Mark's the cub. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's uh, he's on it this morning. Yes, he uh, is. I, I just don't know how much he's going to charge us by the time it's all over with. <laughs> you know, we have to may have to pay him in Tim Hortons donuts. I don't know, but there we go. Thank you, uh, Rick, for keeping us updated on that. All right, from the news center again. Here's Bill. Thanks, Stephen. Good morning, everyone. Despite some areas of our region that were hit hard by yesterday's storms, once again, Scioto County was pretty much spared from any major damage. There were up to 13,000 customers without power, according to AEP, throughout the region. There were some here in Scioto County. Now, early this morning, I spoke with Larry Mullins, executive director of the Scioto County EMA, and I got his assessment. Well, even though we had two separate tornado warnings for Scioto County last night, we have uh, reports of no major damage throughout the county. So once again, we got very, very fortunate, very lucky. ODOT crews were out for most of the night removing debris from the roads like uh, 73 and 348. Also cleaning out culverts which caused uh, water to uh, run over some of the roadways. In fact, uh, uh, State Route 73 in Raritan is closed due, again this morning due to high water. So we do have a flood advisory in effect for this morning until about 9.30. So low-lying areas, places that are prone to flooding, some along uh, creeks and things like that, you might be seeing uh, some high water. So uh, be very careful and remember, turn around, don't drown. Mullins also wanted me to remind everyone that debris does remain on some of our county's back roads, so please be careful when you're out and about this morning. In Florida, a six-week abortion ban signed into law by that state's governor last year could take effect, but the Florida Supreme Court also ruled that a proposed amendment enshrining abortion rights in the state constitution can appear on the November ballot. This is similar to the situation regarding abortion rights here in Ohio, and as Melissa Andrews tells us, Ohio's Attorney General has responded. Attorney General Dave Yost is admitting that Ohio's version of the controversial heartbeat law is unconstitutional. The law passed in Ohio back in 2019, and like the Florida law, it banned most abortions after the first detectable heartbeat. But voters approved enshrining abortion rights in the state constitution last year. Yost says his office will respect the will of the voters. That's being reported that new vehicle sales in the United States rose nearly 5% from January through March as buyers stayed in the market despite high interest rates. But electric vehicle sales growth slowed during the first three months of the year, with mainstream buyers wary of limited range and a lack of charging stations. J.D. Power & Associates said the average sales price for a vehicle in March was $44,186 which is down 3.6% from a year ago and is the largest recorded decline in price for the month of March. The company said automaker discounts in March were two-thirds higher than a year ago, around $2,800. For Mix 99.3 News, I'm Bill Shope. Yes, indeed you are. Well, we got a lot of uh, water on the rise here this morning and, uh, again, lots to clean up, but uh, apparently the sun is up now, or it's getting light outside, so we're going to be able to see what uh, limbs and such are in the uh, county roads, back, yeah. back roads, I guess. Yeah, I know that the county crews and, yeah. and everybody, ODOT, are out there working really hard in a lot of areas to get the debris up off the roads so school buses and yeah. motors can get around safely. You know, the one thing that I'm getting a little sick of is this. Uh, <laughs> Only one? <laughs> well, right now, is the over uh, the overkill of, the, uh, of this eclipse. I mean... Everywhere you look, I just saw a promo, I think it was on NBC this morning. We will give you the best 
eclipse coverage ever, and, and all these people are just going crazy. You know, anytime something gets a little too out of bounds, um, I'm going to pray for rain. <laughs> well, I can't wait till tomorrow and you hear Gary Boyle, who's a member of the yeah. Canadian Royal Astronomical Society, tell us all about the eclipse. <laughs> well, again, obsession of the eclipse is I guess, what I'm talking about. This is true. Yeah, and Commercialization that, of it. And, yeah, and, and, and businesses capitalizing on it. It's, it's, it's just gotten too out of control. This eclipse is a a once-in-a-lifetime celestial event, so that's why we're having a sale. Sale, sale! Why stop at Eclipse Glasses? We've got Eclipse hats, Eclipse toothbrushes, Eclipse adult diapers, and even Eclipse soups. Do you have, uh, um, ladles? Oh, yeah. We've got the biggest selection of Eclipse ladles on the market. Everything Eclipse at Eclipse Everything. Do you have very lean salami? We have 42 kinds of lean Eclipse salami. And if you put it on top of some Eclipse bologna, you've got a lunch meat Eclipse. I can't get enough of this Eclipse. So come to Eclipse. Eclipse everything today. You'll be blinded by the savings. Ah! Yeah, there you go. All right. If you can't get enough, now you can get enough. And you know, all day Monday, we got to be playing Springsteen's Blinded by the Light. <laughs> and Moon Shadow. That's right. there. there we go. <laughs> we did that before. <laughs> we just may do it again. All right. Thank you, Bill. This update brought to you by Portsmouth Cancer Care and Associates. Dr. Inishita, Dr. Jaffrey, where the care, compassion, road map to your recovery begins. For over 30 years, Dr. Inishita and his staff at Portsmouth Cancer Care and Associates have been changing lives with the most comprehensive treatment and cure for cancer in the area. During this time in Portsmouth, Dr. Inishita has created a name of patient excellence in the highest degree and will continue that fight with each and every patient towards the cure. Dr. I, as he's known by his thousands of friends, is proud to announce the addition of Dr. Hassan Jaffrey to the staff of Portsmouth Cancer Care and Associates. Dr. Jaffrey's medical expertise is with all cancers as well as treatment of blood disorders, bone marrow, and the immune system. Together, Dr. Inishita and Dr. Jaffrey create a very special team that's there when it comes to fighting back to regain your good health. Feel free to stop in and welcome Dr. Jaffrey to the staff at 916 11th Street or call 353 353- 4884. It's Portsmouth Cancer Care and Associates of Portsmouth. Always there with the care, the compassion, and the roadmap to your recovery. And good morning. It is downtown currently, uh, what, 52? That's right. We're falling the other direction. And uh, with that, we'll check in with ONN. This is ONN. I'm Jay Fox on the Ohio News Network. The largest fresh egg producer in the United States says it has stopped production at a plant in Texas after bird flu was found. Cal Maine Food said Tuesday it destroyed 1.6 million laying hens at the Texas facility. The company says no eggs have been recalled. In Ohio, a cattle herd that a Wood County dairy operation received from Texas likely has bird flu, according to the Ohio Department of Agriculture. Patients in the ProMedica Health System in Northwest Ohio who have Cigna Insurance will no longer receive in-network coverage. Melissa Andrews of ONN affiliate WTOL-TV in Toledo explains. ProMedica terminated its contract with the insurance provider. The hospital system also says Ohio patients with Cigna could be responsible for 100% of charges billed by ProMedica out-of-network facilities and PPG providers. ProMedica says it remains open to continuing discussions with Cigna regarding a renewed contract. Expert at a Toledo wildlife refuge say the eclipse will impact animals. Melissa Andrews of ONN affiliate WTOL-TV has more. Nature's Nursery says the changes in animal behavior should be minor, but the total solar eclipse will wake up nocturnal animals. That's when you could hear sounds from bugs, frogs, bats, and possums, and different birds that are in flight to migrate through the area. For the Ohio News Network, I'm Jay Fox. And it is time now once again for sports. Brought to you by Collier Medical and uh, Collier Occupational Clinic, where you can find Jamie Reynolds there to help with all your medical needs. And last night in Philadelphia, again, as I was saying to Chuck all morning long, it was between Tony Cavalier and uh, uh, Bryce Harper. And uh, Bryce Harper, I think, uh, probably uh, probably out hit. Tony last night. Uh, as I said, I woke up in a nightmare that Tony went one for three. 
<laughs> he, he called he called the tornado in West Union, but he missed on Rarden and Otway. Uh-huh. But Bryce Harper was a little uh, more accurate. Yeah, yeah. It, those two were in competition as to who could deliver the worst news. There could be a twister touchdown. Oh, there's home run number three. Yeah. <laughs> Back and, and, forth. And, and a grand slam at that. Absolutely. All right, here's Chuck. Yep, the Phillies got the better of the Reds last night, 9-4 to in the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia's Bryce Harper, certainly the star of the game. After going 0 for the night before, he had three home runs last night, including that grand slam that Steve alluded to. Harper drove in six of the Phillies' nine runs. Since he, Spencer Steer went three for four at the plate. Red starting pitcher Graham Ashcraft went the first six innings and surrendered three runs off of four hits. Cincinnati's problems really occurred in the seventh inning, Philadelphia scored five of its nine runs at that time. The Reds and Phillies will wrap up their three-game series this afternoon, and you can hear the rubber match on Fox Sports Myth AM 1260 and 95.7 FM. It was originally going to be a 110 start, but they pushed that back to 405. Coverage today will start at 335. Frankie Montas will get the start for Cincinnati. He was the winner on opening day last Thursday. The Phillies will counter with Zach Wheeler. In the American League, the Guardians defeated the Mariners 5-2. to Those two will hook up again this afternoon at 410 in Seattle. The Shawnee State Athletic Department held its 2024 Athletic Awards Ceremony at the Vern Rife Center for the Arts last month. The Female Athlete of the Year was Hayden Wamsley, and the Male Athlete of the Year was Aiden Kamler. Wamsley is a junior volleyball player who holds sophomore eligibility in track and field. She competes in both. Wamsley went to high school at Northwest. Aiden Kamler is in his fifth year at SSU. He runs track and cross country. He attended high school at Portsmouth. The Strength Award winners where Mackenzie Hale on the female side and Zach Gaspar on the male side. Gaspar is a junior baseball player from Strongsville, and Hale is a junior softball player from Winfield, West Virginia. The Freshman of the Year Award winners went to Lexi Deaver, Katie McCafferty, and Justin Moore. The Freshman of the Year Awards were given to top newcomers at SSU who came straight out of high school without using any collegiate eligibility prior to their arrival at Shawnee State. Lexi Deaver is a member of the women's basketball team. She is from West Portsmouth, went to Portsmouth West High, Katie McCafferty is from Centerville. She's a swimmer. And Justin Moore is a Valley graduate from Lucasville. He's a shot put and discus thrower for the track team. The newcomers of the year were basketball players Sienna Gloster and Chase Harris. The Driven Award winners were Lauren Spears and Trey Beard. The Impact Coach of the Year Award winners were softball coach Kristen Bradshaw and cross country coach Connor Flynn. The Assistant Coaches of the Year were Carrie Kine of the softball team, Janie Sturgill of the bowling team, Dean Freytag with cross country and track and field, as well as Chandler, Chandler Fointno of the men's basketball team. The Coaches of the Year were Natasha Adam McKinwa with women's soccer and Michael Hunter of the men's basketball team. Last night in the NBA, the Cavs defeated the Jazz 129-113. to Your Portsmouth Insurance Sports Time is 743. Portsmouth Insurance is a TAH Benefits partner. Call Gary Duzan for all of your employee benefit needs. And that is a look at sports. All right, Ian. Thank you. Chuck brought to you this morning by Call Your Medical. And again, easy to find at 1661. State Route 522 in the Berg. When it comes to leasing equipment rental, Call Your's got it. So just stop by and they'll treat you. Uh, to everything that they've got. Great menu of things at Collier. All right, we got traffic weather together and all the other stuff that's falling from the sky. No, that was yesterday. It's already here on the ground. We'll talk about it next. Collier Medical in Wietersburg offers occupational medicine with nurse practitioner Jamie Reynolds. Collier Company has closed its primary care to focus on the occupational needs of businesses in the tri-state. Offering drug screens, pre-employment and DOT physicals, as well as medical surveillance, respirator fit, and audiometric testing. Whether you're an employee or an employer needing occupational medical services, go with the convenience of Collier Medical, 1661 State Route 522 Wietersburg. Scheduling an appointment is recommended at Walk-ins are welcome. Call 740-574-8728 and be on the lookout for Call Your Home Medical coming soon. And traffic, a service of the Scioto River, 1024 Gallia Street. Don't forget you can pop in at 11 o'clock for legendary steaks, chicken ribs, or more, or they'll come to you. They love to cater at the river. All right, water on the rise. We've got, uh, let's see, Raritan Hazel Baker Road. Raritan is closed uh, right there with the high water at Eifert and all the other usual first responders when it comes to high water. You're under it here this morning. We've got uh, some schools, including Eastern, on a two-hour delay this morning uh, due to uh, just uh, making sure that the roads are good. That's another thing that you'll need to do today because um, we didn't get a chance to see what back roads uh, may have fallen trees or limbs, so be careful there. And um, 
we don't have uh, any reports of any accidents, which is always good after we've had a situation like we did yesterday. So if you see something we need to know about, give us a call, 354-1993. We'll pass it along. Traffic and service of your friends at the Scioto River. Open seven days a week. The weather is service of Mary Spirit and Print Shop, where all regional schools are proudly represented with plenty of cool hats, shirts, sweaters, jackets, and pride. Get your school spirit on and check out the deals now at Mary Spirit and Print Shop, 2109 Gallia Street in Portsmouth, where Mary and her graphic designer can customize anything. Your first alert forecast from WSAZ. Early clouds tried to break. Looks at brisk breezes staying cold. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s all day. A new line of rain and even a few rumbles comes in later. Temperatures dropping to the 30s by tomorrow morning. Even seeing a few snowflakes mixing in. But severe weather is not expected. I'm WSAZ News Channel 3 meteorologist Brandon Butcher on the Ohio Valley's hit music channel. Mix 99.3. Downtown dropping temperatures. We're at 52. Still have lights out in the city. And that would be from Chillicothe West. Uh, and again, I want to thank Rick Morgan for his reports on that this morning. And lots of AEP trucks. You'll find that as we get up and go. Steve Hayes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.